talking about this during the break that nobody really watched the All-Star game. I watched a few minutes of the, I guess it was the first quarter. Mm -hmm. I mean, 10 years ago, they played what we would describe as no defense. And if you compared that All-Star game from 10 years ago to the All-Star game now, yeah. you would say that 10 years ago was lockdown defense. <laughs> right. I mean, it's worse than ever. Well, I saw one clip of Steph Curry where he went behind his back. Everybody saw it, and then he went, went through the lane and scooped it. I mean, they just stood there. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't just care. Got statues. And it's yeah. just you a three-point That's contest. the reason why it got yeah. smoked in the ratings by SNL, yeah. which drew like a 14 but that's what, share. But that's what the, the fans want to see. They want to see a lot of scoring. They want to see a lot of threes and dunks and alley-oops. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, they do the same thing in the NHL All-Star game. They do the same thing in the NFL All-Star, All-Star, All-Star game. All All-Star games are they're, they're a farce. They're a yeah. waste of time. Besides Unless you're baseball, because baseball, the, they're trying. What was the final score? I mean, I didn't it's see It's like one 163 second. to 158. Yeah. yeah. Well, I did watch the dunk contest. I just saw the highlights. Yeah. And that, it was all right. I Zach mean, Levine's a freak. Zach Levine's a freak. I mean, oh. I can't believe a human can do they some of the things They still miss. He yeah, I know. It's well, so they, annoying. Well, they treat well, be- it like a skateboarding competition where, <laughs> yeah. like, you do, do, you got a minute to land your trick. Yeah. Essentially, I hate it. And it's it's very yeah, but with anticlimactic. The, with the degree of difficulty of some of the dunks, so you have to give them misses. I All suppose, right. I suppose, but maybe dial it down a little bit and d- manage it in a way where you can do them. I don't know. I mean, going behind the back and through the legs. And- I mean, the dunks no, they're doing, crazy. they are absurd, but when you've seen them practice it three times, by the yeah. time they nail it, it's not as exciting. I don't think when we were first watching dunk contests in the era of Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins, and then even as it got to D Brown and all the way to like Dwight Howard, I don't remember those guys missing. Well, they, of did, course, they, they didn't just miss. They weren't as hard. But they didn't. You have they selective miss. memory. They, of course, they, they definitely missed. missed. They Maybe. definitely missed. No, they missed, but they didn't miss like four times. Right. They would get like one miss, and then after that, it would be like held against them. Now they got a certain time limit, and it's like a, it's like a skateboarding competition. You get, you yeah. get a certain amount of time to land your trick. Yeah. But, I mean, look, uh, Oladipo brought the crowd to its feet like it was his first dunk, his little 360 that he did. That was pretty cool. But after that, it was the Zach Levine show. I mean, it was unreal. His 540 it was. No, not really. <laughs> I know. It was maybe like a three. They call it a 540. They maybe spin about a 370 half, or something. On the, on yeah, the ground. It's weird the way he does it. Before you jump but up. But it was super exciting. But after yeah. that, it just didn't have the same steam. And Levine just jumps out of the gym. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh, how how explosive I mean, did they even that give them is. a chance? Did they give him a chance for a second dunk back in the day? So if th- Kenny Walker missed his first attempt. I think so. Would they think give him a second one attempt miss or something? Yeah, I think so. I can't remember. But it wasn't the fourteen misses. No. Yeah. Or this time, I guess they did limit it to three attempts. Yeah. The guys are going to their backup dunks. But again, I mean, when Kenny Walker was winning, I mean, what, what was his best dunk? Kenny Walker. A cradle. Yeah, I mean, it's right. It was a cradle. <laughs> Former wizard Kenny Walker. Love that guy. I mean, every white guy in the league can do that now. <laughs> Pretty much. But, I mean, the degree of difficulty is just sick. On, but we all watched now. Saturday Night Live. I didn't watch all three-plus hours. Was it longer than three hours? I think it was it went like three and a half hours. I can't remember yeah. what time it started. It went until 11.30. But I watched a lot of it. I watched a good two and a half hours of it. What was your it's, favorite bit? It slayed me. Um, I'm almost tired, though, of the Fallon-Timberlake combo. Yeah. It's annoying. Yeah, it's but they're pretty talented. Because they're, they're so pretty talented. talented. I'll tell you what. Just, when, you just hate them because they're so talented. When the, the current stars were doing some of the impressions of the characters of the past, like um, Megan, Melissa McCarthy did the Chris Farley oh, bit. Oh, yeah. The, that, that slayed me. The motivational speaker. And then uh, what's the hot chick from Superbad? She did Rosanna. Emma Stone did Emma, Rosanna, Rosanna Dana. She was really good. Whatever her name is. I, I, I just liked all the older clips when they just yeah. they worked in all the old clips. Yeah, I thought the clips were the best part. And then I was super excited to see Eddie Murphy, and then it was a big dud. Yeah, <laughs> he, he did nothing. He wasn't very good. I, was like, I missed it, but <laughs> I, yeah, I missed nothing. Pros. He decided to not dance. be funny. He just decided yeah. he treated it like a lifetime achievement award. Chris Rock spent like four minutes introducing him. Then he comes out there and he goes, ah, "This is awesome. It's like a high school reunion." Okay, we'll see you guys. So he treated it like <laughs> so he treated it like the last twenty years of his film career. Not funny. Yeah, he even botched the toss to break. Yeah, I think there was a, well, there, was see, a there was a mix up with the cue cards. Well, see, that's the other thing. Since it was live, when they messed up, they kind of goofed on each other. And yeah. They laughed. I like that part yeah. too. When they break, but yeah. you're right. You were saying this during the break. I saw Robert De Niro too. He was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he needed glasses or what. He, he, he couldn't, couldn't read, read his cue card. He well, was very know. motivated. Uh, Peyton Manning you know. botched his line a little bit. <laughs> Chevy Chase looked like he was going to die on stage. Oh, Chevy oh, Chase. Oh yeah, he's a big heffy. And terrible. also, like on the red carpet, but I, yeah. I googled Chevy Chase to see how old he was, and the first thing that came up was. 
is Chevy Chase okay? Yeah. <laughs> After his performance on the red carpet, he just could. He's locked up. Yeah, some doctors are speculating they got him all juiced up on steroids for something. Oh, oh really? poor guy. His face and back is all the Californians. Bloated. The Californians bit <laughs> that, that bit slayed sl- me. That bit slayed me too. That was funny. <laughs> I mean, Bradley Cooper making out with a 90-plus-year-old Betty White. That was that's fun. an A-plus every All time. All I can think about is how gross that must have been. I know. Right? I know. That's really selling and out she's for your crowd. Really he committed, though. Sweet. I don't think there was tongue, but still. No, no. tongue. He kissed. He did that movie kiss, you know, where he kissed her above the lip. Yeah. Which is still gross. Yeah. Did you see the feature on Bradley Cooper on 60 Minutes? No. no. Uh, they no. did a piece on him on 60 Minutes. <laughs> I watched I zero minutes of 60 thing. Minutes. He got his degree from Georgetown. Mm-hmm. Smart guy. And then he just went 70000 in the hole, went yep. all in, said, I want to be an actor, went to the actor studio. There's that famous clip sometimes. Have you ever seen that goofy show? With James Lipton? James Lipton, where Bradley Cooper's in the crowd and asks Robert De Niro a question <laughs> uh-huh. about awakenings. And then, you know, kind of gets his toe into acting. I think he was on a soap opera. And Hangover basically just changed it all. But still, nobody really took him seriously. He was always doing kind of lighter roles. And then he got a crack, and it's three straight Academy Award yeah, nominations. He's guy. killing it. And he's doing the Elephant Man on Broadway looking like a freak. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, if you're doing the, the Elephant Man, you're not going to go out and look, you're not gonna look like Bradley Cooper. <laughs> he was one of the best, or is one of the best. Do you guys want to hear the uh, awkward Eddie Murphy bit? Sure. Yeah. I was so ready for him to be funny. Do you have too. De Niro, too? Um, he didn't get De Niro. He was terrible. I, I can try and pull it. <laughs> All right. Lawrence was the next Eddie Murphy. Chris Rock's the next Eddie Murphy. Kevin Hart's the next Eddie Murphy. There is no next Eddie Murphy. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the one and only Eddie Murphy. He looked really good, too. I was ready for this, Cakes. <laughs> Should have came out in a red leather suit. This, this was better than like the NSYNC reunion that didn't happen. <laughs> He's getting this big standing he ovation. Do his goofy laugh. Nope. He was gracious, but then it just got awkward, and it wasn't funny. Keep it going. Keep it going, <laughs> Hey, uh, isn't this isn't this an uh, incredible night? This night, everything is. Yeah. This show is such a big part of who I am in in my life, and I'm so happy to be back here and. Uh, and it's just a magical feeling. It actually feels like going back to my old high school, kind of. And it's a, uh, it's a good feeling. I'm really happy that so many people here that value the stuff that I did 35 years ago on this show. It really makes me really happy. It's a real blessing to be part of this show. I will always love this show. And uh, let's keep on. Let's have some more show. Let's have a big round of applause for everybody. <laughs> You know, like I said, it's on par with that his film. It. It's on yeah, par with his film it. career no since, wonder two, I missed it. since 2001 outside of Shrek. I mean, he's done Pluto Nash, Daddy Daycare, Dream Girls, Norbit. <laughs> he has done anything. Not good. a professor. Not a professor was 2001, I believe. Yeah, that's that was his. Or 2000. Not a professor too. The clumps. I mean, who doesn't like the clumps? Can't they come clumps out with another? Can't they come out with another Beverly Hills Cop? I mean, they, <laughs> to, rest, to save his career, it's all they, he's got. They probably need to. All right, phone number if you want to chime in on the Hadid Carp Cleaning List Line. It's 800-636-1067. Remember, coming up at 6:48, we'll get the latest on the. Weather from our man Tucker Barnes from Fox 5.